All right, guys, welcome back to part two of our tutorial. Uh, one of the things I forgot to tell you in part one is to save this as a macro-enabled workbook. Whew, sorry, out of breath. I had to run downstairs and get a Mountain Dew. So we're going to go to File, Save As. Don't tell my wife I'm drinking Mountain Dew in the morning. File, Save As, pick your desktop, and make sure this is selected. Excel macro enabled workbook. We need that for solver to run. Okay. <clears throat> now we're going to go ahead and get into some of the coding for it. So we make sure I'm going. Okay. So our picker column, this is what solver is going to change to pick our players. Our lock column, this is what. This is what we're going to enter for lock and exclude. So to lock a player, we're going to use L. And then to exclude a player, we are going to use X. And we'll go over that in a minute. So these are the three columns that we're going to code. We have the lock yes, lock no, and our G column, which is kind of our grand total. So here in your Y column, we're going to put equals if e2 so that's our lock column so it's going to look at the lock column and see if we selected l for a lock so if e2 equals l then we're going to enter a one and if it doesn't we're going to enter a zero So this is gonna tell us if this column is an L for lock, it's gonna change it to a one. If it's false, it's gonna change it to a zero. And then over here in the lock no column, we're going to do, let me pull it up, equals if, and then we're gonna look at, so if, oh, where'd I go? Okay, E2. So if E2, that's the column where we decide to lock or exclude players, if that equals X, which that's what we're gonna use, you can make it whatever you want, you could do a dot if you like, then we're gonna do zero if it's true, one if it's false. I'll leave that up so you can get caught up. So to recap, we're gonna have a bunch of zeros and a bunch of ones. So both of these columns are looking at E2, our lock column, to see what we put in there. So if we put an X, it's gonna change it to a zero. If we put an L, it's gonna change it to one, one. And when we erase it, it's gonna change it to zero, one. So I'm gonna go ahead and show these real quick in case you're getting caught up. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Okay. <clears throat> now in our total column, this is going to be, now this one's a little complicated, so pay attention here. So it's gonna be equals if D2 equals zero. So if our picker column is zero, that means they were not picked. Now we're gonna say what's true. We're gonna keep it zero because nothing was picked, so we don't need to add it up. Now our false, now if it was picked and it is not zero, we're gonna do sum and we're gonna do D dollar sign two semicolon D two bracket and another bracket to close it off. So what this is saying, we're gonna have all zeros in our picker column and then if it's still a zero, we're gonna keep this a zero. We're not gonna add anything. If this player is picked, it's gonna change the picker column from zero to one. And then what this formula is gonna do is say, okay, if D2 is zero, well, it's not going to be when they're picked. So it's gonna skip the true statement, which would be putting a zero there. And it's gonna to go to sum D2, which is the first column down to and the other d2 will go as we drag it down so it'll be 
D2 to whatever we're on. If we're on D7, it'll be D7. So go ahead and enter that in there. I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter. Okay, we're still good. So these are the three formulas we have in here. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a zero in the picker column. And then you're gonna highlight all of them. Just click in one, drag across there. In the bottom right hand corner, you see this square right here? When my mouse gets near it, it turns into a plus sign, like so. That's how you drag your formulas down. So click it and drag down. And I'm gonna make sure these don't keep adding up. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this to zero, zero, because I drug it yesterday and it added them up. Okay, so now we should be good. So drag it down a couple rows, change these all to zeros, and then it should look like this. Zeros in the yes column, ones in the no column, and then zeros over here. And now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna drag it down all the way to 200. Oh, it added those up on me. Okay, so just click the zero and then drag it back down and it will recalculate everything. So the reason we go to 200, and I'm gonna put a little black box here to make sure I don't enter anything over this, is Solver will only handle 200 lines of code. So technically we're starting on two, so we could go to 202. Just to keep it easy, I'm gonna to go to 200. And then a couple formatting things that I'm gonna do real quick. I'm just gonna bold these. And then this picker column, since we're not manipulating this column at all, the computer is, I'm gonna go ahead and change it to a different color. I like doing this kind of light pink. So you can go to more colors. And let me find something in there. Yeah, so kind of bottom right of the center. Whatever you wanna use is fine. And then if you wanna go ahead and click this little thing, this will put uh, brackets around it, our borders. So it looks like this, so it's a little bit prettier. And then this column, and you don't have to do this. This just makes it easier when we're going down the road. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just make it like a light gold. Now let's go the second one down. And then I'm also gonna put brackets around that. That's our lock column. And then these columns are gonna be our calculated columns. And so I'm just gonna leave them alone for right now. So go ahead and hit save and save where you're at right now. Cause if your computer ever crashes, you don't wanna have to go back and do all this crap all over again. And then, all right, we're good. We're only five and a half minutes in. And then over here for score, so we're gonna calculate on this score. And then our salary is 50,000, so we're gonna to have to be under 50,000. Our players is gonna to have to be equal to six. So we need to calculate these columns right here. So the first thing that we're gonna do, the score is gonna calculate by solver. So, no wait, hang on, no it's not. Sorry, my bad. Okay, so the score we're gonna have to, whoops. So the score, once again, we're gonna do a sum product formula. So we only use this a couple times so I don't spend a lot of time on it. So type sum product, and then it's going to be D, I believe D2 to D200 times C2 C200. And so what that's doing, let me make sure that's, that is correct. I was putting this together really late last night and uh, okay maybe I'm wrong maybe I deleted it <clears throat> um, but anyways we're gonna go ahead and copy this sum product and then erase it and then put it down here in salary. So then just do control paste or control V, paste it in there. And then we're gonna change this a little bit. So salary, this is pulling the projection column. So we're gonna do salary, we're gonna change our C to B. So we're gonna go B, B. 
So this is how it should look. So we're gonna take equal sum product, column D times column B, and that's gonna give us our salary. So if this is a one, then it's gonna add our salary to it all the way down and let us know what our total salary is. So I'll leave that up, let you guys get caught up for a minute. <clears throat> okay, go ahead and hit enter. And like always, I gotta center these real quick. And then we're gonna copy this, so highlight it, control V, make sure you hit enter to come off of it. And then down here in the players column, hit control V, we're gonna paste in that same sum product formula, except for we're gonna change it to, oh, uh, what's our other one we do? I'm sorry, I told you wrong, delete that. Sorry, I was up really late last night. So this one is just gonna calculate our player. So it's really simple, it's equal sum D2, D200. So just like that, so all it's doing is when it changes it from zero to one, it's adding it up to see how many players we have in our lineup. So I apologize, so score is open. Score's open, nothing there, solver's gonna do that for us. And then our sum product is gonna calculate our salary. And again, our picker times B, which is our salary column. And then we have our players, which is just the sum of D2 to D200. So that's gonna pick our players here. So these are the three parameter columns that we have right now. Now, let me see what my next step is that I wanna go into. All right, so I've got that. Okay, so now I wanna put some player projections over here and I've got some on another screen that I'm just gonna copy in for this tutorial but you can get them wherever you want wherever you subscribe to you can get them off of our cheat sheets um, you could go into DraftKings export it and then take the player the salary and the average points per game if you want to practice with it um, you can make some up if you want and here I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put James Dickinson And we're going to say he is $7,000 and he's going to score 99 points. He's a great golfer. And then we're going to say Rob Martino is also $7,000, but he sucks. So he's only going to score 35 points. So I'm going to add those two guys in there. You guys know who you are, so you can be part of the tutorial. And now we're going to go into Solver. So once you get here, save everything and we're good. If you want to pause this video and go get some projections to put in there, you're welcome to do that. And we're 11 minutes, so we're let's trying to decide. All right, let's go ahead and stop this one. This is 11 minutes. Well, actually, this is the second part. So we're going to stop part two, and then in part three, we're going to do solver, and we're going to start doing some calculations.